Good morning. Uh, my name is Lori Laveria, the city manager with Boynton Beach, and I have here with me uh, Chief Jeffrey Katz, our police chief, and Chief Glenn Joseph, our fire chief. Uh, we just wanted to give you a quick update this morning. Um, we just got off our conference call with Palm Beach County. Um, we continue to coordinate and monitor the storm along with them. Uh, our EOC is maintaining a level one activation, which is a full activation. The storm is still a dangerous category four storm. Um, we are beginning to experience some stronger winds coming in here today. Um, the, the key message coming out of the conference call with the county today is we've yet to see the worst of the winds. So uh, please heed that and take that seriously and stay inside and stay off the roads. Some of our um, crews that are out there that will possibly be pull, getting pulled in soon will um, are seeing a lot of cars actually driving around and it's just extremely dangerous. We have power lines going down throughout the city, lots of trees going down. Um, FPNL cannot yet respond because the, the winds are only gonna get worse as the day progresses. So please heed that advice and help us keep you safe. Um, just as a matter of information, tomorrow uh, our city hall will remain closed. We expect to be doing a hopefully damage assessment throughout the day tomorrow if the storm gets, gets through us today and through the night tonight. So uh, city hall will be closed, city services will remain closed as well. I'm going to ask the Chief, uh, Chief Katz to talk to you a little bit about the curfew that is still in effect and, and until further notice stays in effect and then we'll talk to the Chief with some, some safety uh, reminders. Alright, thanks. Uh, the curfew that went into effect yesterday at 3 o'clock will remain in effect until further notice. Uh, as the City Manager said, we have seen uh, an uptick in traffic. We realize the sun has come up. People are curious and that's normal we understand that but it is very dangerous out there there's no um, there's no real easy way to say that people are going to die if they go out onto the streets and they're where they're not supposed to be we have power lines that are down live electricity we have puddled water uh, it is very very dangerous and it's not always obvious where there's going to be danger to you or to, to your loved ones so we know you're probably getting a little bit of cabin fever right now. We understand that. We're locked up too. <laughs> um, but uh, do yourself a favor and make sure you survive this storm. Uh, we care about you. We're concerned about you. We want to make sure that we all get through this together. So, you know, stay inside, play some cards, read a book, spend some time having conversations without electronics. And that's a novelty nowadays. But keep yourself and your family safe. There are literally thousands of police officers in Palm Beach County right now, and they're out and they're, they're seeking uh, the opportunity to help you, um, but we really, really don't want to go to any situation where we have to deal with uh, people who are hurt. Uh, again, the curfew is in effect. Uh, we will enforce it. We will obviously use our discretion and best judgment in doing so, but if you're out and you have no real good reason to be out, um, you know, you're subject to arrest and you need to know that. So uh, we would prefer uh, that you stay home and, uh, and that you get through this storm with us. All right, thanks. Thanks, Chief. Chief Joseph's gonna give us some safety reminders. So uh, with the wind speeds approaching 42 to 45 miles an hour, we have the problems of uh, flying debris. We have problems of power lines that may drop suddenly, trees that may uh, fail. So driving around, being out in the open is probably not the best idea. Uh, you can get hurt and then it would require response from us and put us in harm's way. So we feel so strongly about this that in about, uh, about an hour I'll be pulling all of my units off the streets because the wind speeds are approaching 45 to 50 miles an hour. It becomes too hazardous for us to operate in our heavy equipment. So imagine what it would be like in your car or walking around with an umbrella. It's not a good idea. So stay home, enjoy yourself, and uh, read a book. Uh, a couple of other things. Since we're losing power all over the county, many of us have generators. If you have a portable generator that's operating, it has to be away from your home. If it's too close to the house, the carbon monoxide and smoke may seep into the house and cause you to die. I'm serious. We have every hurricane, we have people in the apartment buildings putting them on uh, the patio, putting them in the garage because they wanted to get them stolen. And, and then we end up having to either transport to the emergency room or having spent several days in the ICU, or the family become overcome and then succumb to the poisoning. So if you're using a generator, please, 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 away from the home, 
downwind from your home so that this wind doesn't blow the smoke back into your, into your dwelling. Okay, so we're gonna cease operations around 45 miles an hour, sustained winds. Uh, we're gonna pull everybody off the road. We're gonna cue all the calls coming in. And as soon as the winds die down, it's safe for us to respond. We will go to them in order of priority. So continue to call 911. If you have a need, we'll queue you up after we stop operating and then we'll come to you as soon as we can. I know some people have chosen to ride out the storm in the evacuation areas. We have some of those people by name. We will actually try to check on those people and make sure they're okay. But stay away from the windows during the storm. Stay indoors. There's a lot of things flying around, branches, metal objects, uh, barrel tiles, bricks and such. So stay inside, stay indoors and keep yourself safe. Thank you, Chief. Um, just a couple other things. For those that may have family or, or friends in the, the shelter over at Boynton High School, we will be stationing, swapping out crews, our medic crews, and we will be stationing, I believe, two full medic crews at the shelter during the duration of the storm. So uh, should the need arise, they, they have medical help there. Um, and lastly, please continue to follow us on, on social media. Um, frankly, I think we're doing an outstanding job getting the word out to you guys. Um, Twitter, our, our police department, Facebook, Twitter pages, the city's Facebook and Twitter uh, website. We're, uh, we're passing the information along as quickly as we get it to uh, help you stay informed and stay safe. So we're here and we're working for you and uh, we're standing ready and we'll get through this together.